Welcome to the Pastoral Care Committee. So we have uh, four people here today who are going to talk mostly about how we're faring. Um, I have a couple more quick questions. If something would happen and we all get locked down again for another six months, how do you think you're going to handle that? Well, I've been accused by my daughters of uh, going out and doing far too much shopping anyway, you know, so. <laughs> but, but I find that the clerks are anxious to, uh, most, a lot of them are very extroverted people. So, you know, there's a real rapport going on <laughs> between the clerks and people that are shopping in the stores right now. But I, I would find it tough. I would find it tough for, especially um, knowing that, um, you know, we can't, we can't have our backyard conversations with neighbors, which is what we've been doing. And we've been all social distancing, but uh, that has been very helpful for us over the summer. But no, going into a winter period is, uh, is something I've heard other people uh, say is going to be tough, and I know it will be tough too. Um, there's, a, there's always hope. There's always hope. I, I do read. I, I do, um, yeah, I've got all kinds of books that I, I need to read. I've still not finished all the cleaning I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, there's certainly no, there's no end of projects if I prioritize and, and actually get them done. You know, I, I can be busy for quite a while, especially with Christmas coming. If I look more than a couple days ahead, I can freak out. I, I just the thought of, of winter coming and think whether we have a real serious lockdown or not, just the fact of winter. Um, and I'm quite a planner, and you, I can't plan anything these days, mm -hmm. really. So it's, so I'm learning, I hope, to, to do this one day at a time thing a whole lot better than I've probably ever done it in my life. Of just, and that as well as that movement, and I learned this from Richard Rohr too, I commend him to people, the Center for Action and Contemplation. But he said, what, what you do, what he recommends doing, and I found it helpful, is to, I do the poor me thing, and on, you know, I live alone, and what am I gonna do, and who's, you know, am I ever gonna be touched again, or whatever. Um, I, you take that and do the poor me thing, and then move that from I to we, and, and think about all the people in the world mm -hmm. who are living alone, who are lonely, who may not have all the many, many blessings that I've got in terms of friends close by and FaceTime and Zoom and all those things, but people wherever they are in the world that have way less than that. And then that moves me off my own little button to, to a prayerful stance of being in solidarity with people in a way that I've never experienced before. And there's something really life-giving about that, actually, because mm -hmm. it seems like that's where Christ actually lives, perhaps, is with the, the marginalized, the poor people, the, the people who don't have the health care and housing and food and all this stuff that we've got. Um, and I don't go right there away, because then I feel like, you know, I'm I'm ignoring myself, but if I, I start with with me and go to we, mm -hmm. um, I have found that really helpful, mm -hmm. and it gets me off my own little sorry story, which really isn't all that sorry. It's just that you know I'm used to sort of doing what I wanted, and I can't now, mm -hmm. um, which maybe is a really good lesson. I don't know, but that's my hope for the winter. And I, like I say, if I look forward, I can freak myself right out. It's like, no, this is September 25th. You're getting through today. Good. Tomorrow, you're going to get through tomorrow, too. And, and one day at a time. One I day at a time, know. yeah. I mean, it used to be a cliche. You know, you live for the moment. And now I think, well, yeah, I guess so. Mm -hmm. well, I got up this morning and saw it was September 25th, and I thought, oh, only three months till Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I know. Shopping day is better. Yeah, down. I know. I don't know how else to do it except just to get it. Mm -hmm. My fear of this time is that I'm get, just going to try to cobble together enough stuff to get through and not pay attention to God. And, and I think this is a prime opportunity for us to 
reflect spiritually in a way that mm -hmm. we never ever have before mm -hmm. and I don't want to miss it mm -hmm. and even if that is hard and tough I'm I'm just heading right for it because I don't it just seems like a, it's this great opportunity to find God in the middle of all of this um, and to to grow and deepen faith life I mean that sounds sort of canned but no, I it love really what you're isn't that, that's it's just, really true Absolutely it's like true. wow mm -hmm. Everything has been turned upside down, mm -hmm. and instead of just doing three million Sudokus, which I, I'm close <laughs> to doing, it's just like, where else, what, you know, where's the depth in this? Yeah. What's mm -hmm. God saying to me and you and to us as the church? And mm -hmm. That's what I'm hunting for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the, the uh, making it, taking the eye out of it the me and thinking of the of the we the broader picture um, I hope that we don't get back into total lockdown again I was moaning and groaning to my daughter at the beginning that I feel like I'm in a velvet prison that it just a comfortable space because I'm blessed in many ways but still it felt like a prison so I hope that we don't reach that again because I I do need the social interaction and the ability of being having a certain level of freedom and being out and about. Um, I'm good uh, because I'm an introvert. I'm I'm pretty good on my own most of the time, but not all the time. I so I would find that very difficult, even though I have all of the conveniences to keep me electronically in touch with people. I've got two computers running right now, plus an iPad, plus an iPhone. I'm so teched up. I'm just enough. But it's not the same. It's not the same as the ability to just get in your car and go somewhere. Walk into a store just to be in a store not necessarily to even buy anything. Um, yeah, chit chat to the, the, the cashiers. You know, I feel like I'm almost on first they're name basis as, with a lot of them. They're so glad to see people too. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think it's important. And uh, one of the things I have noted is that I know that there are the nasty people around and you hear those horrible <laughs> stories, but I'm finding that people are kinder to each other. I'm finding that people are taking more time to speak to each other, to ask how you're doing, you know, how are you today? Or, you know, what are you gonna be doing the rest of the day? Or total strangers. Mm -hmm. That people are, are really wanting that human touch, that human voice, that connection mm -hmm. is so important because we're social beings. I think it helps to live in Saskatchewan. It does. Pe people yeah. are yeah. yeah, kind of like that anyway. Yeah, yeah. they are, mm -hmm. yeah. I know that when we first moved here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just, so I hope we don't, I think we may and we'll, we'll survive. We'll mm -hmm. get through, mm -hmm. we'll come out the other side, but we'll just, I'm kind of with Margie. I think take it a day at a time and try not to panic too much about what's happening in, December or November mm -hmm. when the snow comes and just a day at a time. One of my good friends the other day said, I normally travel a lot since I've retired and, and so I do an annual letter at sort of around Christmas time or whatever and it's usually all the where I've been and what mm -hmm. I've done. Mm -hmm. She emailed at the beginning this, she said, your annual letter is going to be two lines long. <laughs> <laughs> Stayed home. <laughs> so it was like, well, yeah. Read this many books. Played a hundred million games of Sudoku. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Anyway. Yeah. No, I, I, you know, sometimes when I look back on it, March 17th or whatever it was, doesn't seem that long ago. Mm -hmm. You know, but when you take it day by day, it maybe seems a little bit longer. But I mean, that's six months. Yeah. It takes longer than that to have a baby. So maybe this is going to birth something wonderful. Who knows? But um, I just have the feeling that uh, we're, I think we'll be okay. 
Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to be okay for a couple of reasons. Number one is one that, that you already identified was that people in this province tend to be mostly kind. Mm -hmm. and, and certainly the people in the church uh, tend to be kind. And people that you know that you have your friends with because they are your friends tend to be kind. Don't turn on the TV and listen to the news from south of the border because it's not that kind. And so I have, I have stopped mostly listening to that. Um, there, but there are some things that I just think, you know, today is a hard day, but tomorrow will be better. And if I think tomorrow will be better, usually it is. You know, some of it for me is mindset mm -hmm. and, and what I'm going into it with. And if I wake up on the wrong side of the bed, um, it can ruin the whole day. So I try not to, which is why I like that little morning prayer, because it, you don't wake up on the wrong side of the bed. It's hard to do that when you've, mm -hmm. when you've done morning prayer and had coffee. I must say the coffee has to go with it. Um, so that, you know, that has worked fairly well. I think we'll make it through. No matter what happens, I think we'll make it through because we can and we, and we will. Uh, it may not be the favorite year of our lives. We may look back on 2020 and say, well, we could have done without 2020. We may want to look back on 2021 and say, it was the year that things turned around for us. I hope so. And I hope that's true. Mm -hmm. And I pray that's true. I thank you for listening. Me may have gone on a little bit longer than I thought we would, but um, there's some wisdom in this group that it is important, I think, for me to hear and probably for others.